Build up your muscles without any exercising? Funny. No, I figured out how to materialize you onto Earth from the network. Actually, it was much easier than I thought it would be. I applied the synchronicity principle to the supercomputer's apparatus, and then I used it to develop a kind of energizing projection. In other words... In English, then. That means you now know how to send us somewhere directly on Earth from inside the network, right? Exactly. You understood Einstein's babble? Well, yeah. After all this time, I'm finally starting to get the hang of swampum physics. Quantum. Yeah, well, it's still muddy, though. Hold it. That means that now you can bring us up anywhere from the skid? Not anywhere at all, but I can do it in the vicinity of a supercomputer generating a copy. It's what I call teleportation. Hi guys, what's up? Are you ready to go and blow up a supercomputer? You can get us to the real world from the network? Yeah, we're all meeting at the factory tonight to try it out, okay? You got it. Bye. Uh, Yumi, I wanted to ask you something. Hmm. Wow, now that was about as cold as the North Pole. What did you do to deserve that? I have no idea. The cold shoulder started day before yesterday. That's weird. Her birthday was the day before yesterday. It was? I don't believe it. You're kidding! Uh, I hope you wished her a happy birthday. You know how important things like that are to her. Oh, no! I totally forgot! Man, I bet now she's gonna hate me for weeks. Probably. Unless you go and buy her a nice present to make up for it. I'll go now. Oh, well, I would if I could. Stern, how many times do I have to tell you that a flounder is not a flying fish? So there's no reason to throw it at the window, especially when the window is open and when I happen to be there. So I've got one word for you, and that's two hours of study hall. You're making a mistake. I swear to you, Jim. Well, Stern, you're right. This time, I did make a mistake. It's not two hours, but four hours of study hall. And if you keep baiting me, I'll make sure that you don't get off the hook for eight hours. Thanks to Jim, I've got four hours of detention. And then we have Chardin's class and... No sweat. I gotta go get a few things for Kiwi. And while I'm out, I'll pick up a little present for Yumi. Really? You'd do that for me? Yeah, sure. Besides, I owe you one. In case you didn't know, the flying fish thing was me. It was? And you let me uh, take the blame? I was laughing too hard to tell Jim. Oh, odd. You know I oughta... for a minute, Ulrich. Here, this should get you on the good side of your platonic friend. Hey, thanks, Odd. Uh, what is it? A surprise. Yumi's really gonna go for it. Don't worry. Hey, you guys. Hello. Huh? You don't mind keeping up with the rest of us, I hope. Do I have to remind you that we have a really important mission? Okay, okay. Hey, we're not factory workers. Well, technically we are. <clears throat> How did your classes go today? Not bad. How about you? You guys ready? Energize! Standing by for liftoff? Standing by. Supports away. Ignition. Powering vertical.
activated. Sonar activated. Stabilizers online and checked. Primary access clear. Laser generators online. Ready to dive. I'm entering the coordinates of the replica. Hollow web system online. Okay, you're looking for a hub at 045. Gotcha, Jeremy. Course heading set. I'm powering up the turboprops and auxiliary engines. Replica, here we go again. Can't somebody shut him up? Why? He's nice, at least. Incredible. They're talking to each other. Shut up, Odd. Broadband acceleration in three, two, one, zero. Reverse thrust. We're clear, Jeremy. Yeah, I know. You guys ought to be able to see the replica now. Yes, it's right in front of us. We're heading for the entry portal. Digital key activated. I'm sending you the signal, Jeremy. Roger. I'm about to open it up. There's an activated tower on the replica. That means that Xana is up to no good somewhere on Earth, not far from the supercomputer we're looking for. But what? If we want to know, we gotta... Hey, Einstein, what if we gave your teleportation thing a try? Just to be sure once and for all. That's what I was thinking. But first, you're gonna have to moor the skid to a tower. There's one nearby, at 3 o'clock. I see it, Jeremy. It looks good. I should be able to secure the skid to it. Gently, though. A little to the left. Be careful. Backseat driving again. Better cut it out. Uh, sorry, Alita. I know you can do it without me. Ready to moor. Skid secured. Nice one, Princess. Good job. Now just give me a minute to activate the tower for our own use. Well, we're all set. Okay, guys, it's time. Ready for teleportation? Ready to go, Einstein. Teleportation. It didn't work, Jeremy. I'm still here. That's normal. I forgot to tell you that this time I decided to energize only Aelita and Odd. I'd rather you stayed with Yumi to protect the skid. If it's anything like our last experiment, Xana will be sending you a welcoming committee in no time flat. If you'd have told us before, we could have chosen sides ourselves. Great, you really sound happy to be with me. That wasn't what I meant. Okay, you guys know the procedure. I'll put you ashore while I get a little work done. Alita, Odd, do you read me? Uh, uh, Alita, Odd? Alita, Odd! I wish I knew what was happening. Cool, Einstein! Ah. It works! Glad to hear it, but that's no reason to blow out my eardrum. Okay, where are you? You're not gonna believe this, but we're in the jungle! And it's daytime here. I get it. You're in a different time zone. You're in the Amazon region, it seems. Wow, that's exciting. But we're dressed like on Lyoko, how come? Because the teleportation isn't a real devirtualization. Those aren't your real human forms that I materialized onto Earth, but whoa, they- Whoa, whoa, slow down, Frank Einstein. Are you trying to tell us that we're not really us? Yes, you're you, but those aren't your real bodies. More like some kind of specters in the image of your virtual manifestation. Aelita and I become specters? In fact, you're more like polymorphic specters than... Wow, pretty impressive. 
If you say so. But it doesn't matter. For now, hurry up and find the supercomputer. The teleportation won't last forever. How long have we got? Uh, 52, no, 26, no, uh, 13, 13 minutes. The guy's a comedian. And just where does he expect us to find a supercomputer behind a tree? Good guess, Odd. Make up, huh? You know, if someone forgot my birthday, I wouldn't make a big thing out of it. That's because I never ever forget it. Ugh. You know, uh, uh. okay, I not you, but I mean somebody. You, you know, look, quit while you're ahead. You're just making things worse. Yumi, Loric, Odd and Ilita have found a laboratory. My theory was right. They're trying to locate the supercomputer. Everything okay on your side? A little chilly, but no. Faster! Jeremy, Zan is on the move again. Okay, Yumi. Two vehicles coming right up. I'll take care of Handsome. Yeah, right. Be careful. If the skid gets disconnected from the tower, it's mission over for Ailita and Odd. We'll try to make life miserable for the enemy. Don't worry. Fighting William should put me in a better mood. <laughs> Direction is infallible. Huh? A supermarket display for office plants? Uh-oh, guess not. Ailita, Odd, hurry up and find the supercomputer. You, me, and Ulrich are busy fighting off a bunch of tarantulas. Funny, your cousins are right here. What are you talking about? Uh, nothing, Jeremy. Ailita, what do you make of these souped-up spiders? I'd say that Santa wants to transform these tropical tarantulas. But for what? Spiders don't attack unless you sit on them. Ah! Shh! Okay, okay, don't look at me in that tone of voice. Anyway, I'm sure nobody heard anything. 
Yeah. What'd you say? Laser out! Anyone ever teach you to play fair? Hey, but that thing really stinks! Energy field! <laughs> Lost, William. Mayday, SOS, I need two more fans, like, right now! Uh-oh, right now is a pretty tall order, Yumi. But okay, let me see what I can come up with. Princess, we still have to find the supercomputer. Uh, Jabby! It's okay, I'm nearly there. Well, you wouldn't have a rabbit's foot, a four leaf clover, or a horseshoe on you, would you? Is it as bad as all that? Infallible sense of direction, huh? I was positive that we should have gone in the other direction. Hold on a minute. Bingo! Jeremy, we found the supercomputer. Uh, great, you'd better destroy it right away because Yumi can't hold on much longer. Oh no, an entry code. Why not a couple of guard dogs, too? Let me handle it. <laughs> now we've got to get rid of this thing for good. Let me handle this one. Laser error! I don't believe this. Jeremy, we've got a problem. The supercomputer has an energy field around it. You've got to find out where the shield is getting its energy from. I can't do anything from here. Do whatever you have to, but hurry up. <laughs> Jeremy, it's now or never. <laughs> oh, Jeremy, I'm really sorry. There. That must be the lens that's projecting the energy field. If we destroy it, there's a good chance we'll deactivate the shield. You could have found me a little bigger target. No one could possibly hit from this distance. That is, except me. Go ahead. I'll take care of them. Laser arrow! Adios, amigo! 
Adios! What's going on now? Xana has taken over control of the tower, you guys. Your teleportation has stopped. We've got to abort the mission. You might as well come back home. Quick up, Aelita. <sighs> Aelita, let's get out of here. Spider-Man and company have just arrived. Okay. Let's go. There's no sense dissing ourselves. After all, we did our best. Maybe, but we've still got to find out what Xana's planning to do with those cybernetic spiders. Right. We'll have to go back onto the replica, teleport you back in, and destroy that supercomputer. Oh, that's fine, but until then, anyone mind if I sleep for a few years? Okay, we get the message. We could all use a little sleep. Uh, Yumi! What now? Here, a little birthday gift. Oh, thanks, Ulrich. That's very sweet. Aren't you gonna open it? In Japan, you never open a present in front of the person who gave it to you. Well, that's fine with me. I bet you're thinking about your own birthday. Oh, yeah. But it's one of those things I still don't remember. I haven't any idea when I was born. No problem. All you have to do is make up a date, Aelita. Why don't you choose one for me, then? Okay. Well, go on. Uh-uh. I'm not telling. It'll be a surprise. Hey, are you guys coming or not? Hurry up before I fall asleep on this bridge. Yeah, we're coming. No need to wake the whole town up. <laughs> Who's the pretty present for, huh? Who's it for, my little diggity dog? Hey, Odd, thanks again for Yumi. You really saved me this time. Oh, no sweat. Pretty classy color. But don't you think it's a bit too much for a dog? 